Well, Princess Catherine has been crowned Britain's favourite royal, but the survey was taken before the Princess of Wales. Recent photo editing scandal and weeks of speculation over her health. We've seen weeks of controversy, speculation and online conspiracy theories following the princess's major abdominal surgery. But is it time to give Kate a break? Has it all gone a bit too far? I mean, the chat shows in the United States, they've been going overboard on this. Joining us now is entrepreneur and social commentator Joanna Jarju, who thinks Kate should remain in the spotlight. Uh, Joanna, why do you say that? Surely no woman on earth could put up with this amount of speculation and conspiracy over their health. Shouldn't she just be left to recover? Well, I think that Kate was being left to recover um, to an extent until the, uh, the royal family actually created this storm that we're witnessing at the moment. I think that the people um, over in the US and the press over there are actually doing their job. And it's actually exposing a lot of, you know, this secret relationship that this royal family has had with the press over time that has basically meant that they can have their cake and eat it. I would have no problem with this if a standard hadn't already been set when it comes to Meghan Markle. But it seems as if it's one rule for Meghan Markle and Harry and another rule for Princess Kate. And really, the royal family have done themselves no favours whatsoever with the editing, with not disclosing certain information when you've got um, the king talking talking about his cancer diagnosis, but it's all hush hush with Kate. They've created this storm. And actually, as the general public who pay for the royal family, we have every right to know what's going on behind closed doors. Joanna, that's a bit of a harsh way to look at it, isn't it? Oh, Meghan Markle has suffered a lot by the British press. Therefore, uh, Kate should put up with it. Do two wrongs make a right? Well, the thing is, when Meghan Markle was going through that, people who were defenders of um, of uh, Princess Kate and of William were saying, this is what we, you know, this is what you signed up for. This is part of the job. You don't get to pick and choose when you get privacy. And then now it's completely changed when it comes to Kate. And like I said, a lot of this has actually been instigated by the royal family with their lies or with not, you know, being in a position where they're not forthcoming with certain bits of information. They have caused this. And if anything should lay off, anybody should lay off Kate. It should actually be the people within the institution who seem to be laying all the blame on um, on Kate's doorstep when it comes to things like editing pictures. Clearly, they're more interested in actually protecting the institution than pr protecting Kate herself, which should be part of their responsibility. I find it just extraordinary that the royal family needed to move away from their age-old mantra of never complain, never explain. The big furore of conspiracy all kicked up when a photo was released after the royal family initially said, you're not going to see uh, Princess Catherine until Easter. If they'd have just stuck with that, then perhaps this wouldn't have reached the fever pitch that it has. Well, look, this is the same thing that I was just talking about. They want it one way, but then they also want it the other way. You've got the king disclosing about um, the uh, prostate cancer. Then you've got him disclosing again that he's been um, diagnosed with a different type of cancer, but then not really telling us what that type of cancer is. And then you've got them telling us about this apparent, you know, planned operation that, that Kate was having, but were not allowed to know the rest. They set this president as soon as they had women within the royal family, five hours after giving birth, standing on a doorstep and parading themselves in front of a crowd. So they can't pick and choose. Mm. And actually, you know, they, they, they owe us that responsibility to actually give us the information. We're the ones that are paying for them. But Joanna, you said the journalists in uh, the United States are doing their job by uh, yeah. investigating these conspiracies, but really they're just gossiping. I mean, I've seen clips from talk shows in the States um, where they're just laying out any conspiracy theory they can think of. They're pontificating over uh, Catherine and William's marriage. They're talking about whether the royal family are hiding her somewhere, you know, whether things are more serious. They're talking about all sorts. Surely mm -hmm. that's not an appropriate way to behave, surely? Well, look, there's a certain line, obviously, isn't there, when it comes to conspiracy theories, but also there's the difference where you, you know, doing a, a complete 180 and you're not looking into anything at all. I, for one, am not going to sit here and drink whatever Kool-Aid the royal family decide to serve me, and I'm not going to be gaslighted about certain things. If a picture has been edited and it's obvious that it's been edited, then really the press over in the UK, who were, you know, supposed to be journalists on behalf of all of us that are taxpayers, 
leaders should be looking into things and should be demanding that we get certain answers. But why is it that they can just have their cake and, and, and eat it? And we're just supposed to lap up whatever story that they decide to give us. But the difference is now they're slipping up and they're slipping up quite badly, to be honest. And it's embarrassing, really, for the UK on the world stage. I mean, we're looking at some of the pictures of this edited photo here. The, the, the rumours are that sort of she wasn't in it, it's all old, it's all... I mean, to me, this looks like it's very simply photos that were taken in quick succession that have been stitched together. Really? So that it looks like really? a nice photograph. I mean, we saw, the, we saw a very clear line between sort of half of her zip and the other half of her zip. Those are two photos taken in quick succession that have been stitched together. Why is there so much conspiracy over something that is fair? fairly standard practice in family portraiture. No, that is not standard practice, OK? You might have a bit of blurring. Maybe they could have put the saturation up if Kate was looking a bit pale and unwell. They have literally, it looks like, copied and pasted extended Charlotte's skirt, unne completely unnecessary things and gone to complete lengths that nobody else would go to just to put Jenna, up Georgia, a... Georgia, it's completely day. standard. If you have no, fidgety kids in a picture, a, a professional photographer... How on earth do you know, even, Tom? Well, How on I, earth I, I do know. you know what I, done with the picture. You I do know, not know. You're speculating just as what much is as anyone else. possible to happen. Yeah. And I've seen, like everyone else in this country has seen, all of the adverts from various mobile mobile phone manufacturers that say, yeah. take this picture and you can pick the best face of each people. We'll take six pictures and pick the best one and well, swap and whatever. It happens all the time. Um, Tom, the, the press team over at Kensington Palace and William and Kate are smart enough to know that this photo is probably the most important, apart from their wedding picture and the babies, it's probably the most important picture that they've had to produce. So then to put a picture that you know has clearly been doctored in some way and then to actually specify that it was a week ago, that is obviously saying this is our official statement to show you mm. at what help um, Kate is at at the moment. And I think it completely um, contradicts itself anyway because if Kate is sat there in skinny jeans looking you know um, a bill of health mm. you know her arms around her kids then from a taxpayer's perspective and from the general um, public's perspective why are you not doing zoom calls if it was the rest of us the government would be saying get off the dole and get back to work or at least work remotely well Joanna why? a lot of a lot of Actually, people are a lot of people are saying why doesn't why don't they just film a you know, you know a short little clip of exactly. the princess, so everyone knows she's okay. Because that's like but a is hostage that, video. But is that really a... Well, I mean, what's happening now is that you have people throwing out all sorts of conspiracy theories. You have so much speculation. Social media is is saying all sorts of nasty things about her. Very easy yeah. to just prove that, you know, that she's recovering from a surgery. But perhaps that's too I, much I, of a... Perhaps that's not very nice, actually. If she's in, you know, if she's in recovery mode, you don't, you don't necessarily want to... I don't know. I think one thing that's true is that the institution is going to protect the institution. And obviously, it's awful to see some of the more horrible comments against Kate online. You know, I would never, I would completely condemn things like that. But also, the institution are not doing a very good job of actually protecting her, throwing her under the bus. Even if she was the one who actually edited that picture, why would you have her take that responsibility and the one uh, be the one that's actually being basically thrown to the dogs or thrown to the wolves for more? people to say oh it's Kate's editing then you've got people on Twitter that are taking her quote and saying oh as an amateur photographer and then copying and pasting and photoshopping other stuff on the picture it's actually made Kate a mockery and I think that the royal family would probably go to mm. any lengths whatsoever to protect William and to protect the institution we've seen that when it comes to Meghan and Harry and I don't think it's any different when it comes to Princess Kate and in that sense I actually feel quite sorry for her because and she's yet probably we've seen polling out this week that shows uh, Catherine, um, Princess Catherine is the uh, yeah. most popular royal. So yeah. if, if it's all a big plot from the that. royals to say, let's make her the fool guy, it's spectacularly backfired. Uh, she might be the most popular, but she is not the king in waiting. She's not the monarch in waiting. And I think the royal family will go to any lengths, no matter how mm. popular she is. She's still in William's shadow. Well, Jenna, so we've run out of time, but thank you so much for putting your case across. Thank really, you. really good to hear. Um, even, if, um, even if I'm I think we can all agree we wish her the very best of health. Um, Absolutely.